Hey guys, how you doing? Luna here with a new video. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here to talk about something that's not related to music at all. This is going to be a very different type of video. I wanted to have a little one-on-one -on -one with you guys about something that has been bothering me a little bit on the comment section of my videos. But before I say anything about that, I want to make sure I thank you guys because we recently hit a thousand subscribers on the channel. I know that for a lot of you, that's not such a big number, especially on YouTube. You have people with millions, dozens of millions, and even hundreds of millions of subscribers subscribers but the idea of you know a thousand people watching my videos and deciding I want to hear more from this guy so they subscribe to the channel is really flattering I love it when you guys interact with the channel I love it when you comment when you give your opinion and I give my opinion on your opinion and we have like a back and forth in the comment section and it's precisely because I enjoy it so much that it's been bothering me a little bit some of the comments that have been made on a certain type of video I make this is not gonna be like a drama queen video I'm not complaining but I do think think some of these comments are really funny because apparently according to some people I'm clickbaiting on my videos if you guys don't know I upload a certain type of video called the overrated series where I take a really popular artist or an artist that's really respected in the music scene and I ask the question is he overrated or not I use different categories like popularity discography influence performance and I do like a little review of the artists performance in each category and based on my personal opinion at the very end of the video Video after we went through his entire catalog, I decided whether or not they're overrated. I like to do another type of video as well where I take a comment I saw on social media that I think it's kind of controversial. Uh, for example, someone saying that Bob Dylan doesn't have a single album that's good and I make a video about it. Usually when I make uh, some of these videos, I put the quote I found on social media and I put it in the title. And that's why a lot of people think that I'm clickbaiting because the most recent example would be the John Lennon video where the title is John Lennon Can't Sing. I think I saw someone saying that on Reddit or it was on Twitter. I don't really remember, but it was just a guy arguing that John Lennon on a technical level wasn't a good singer and I completely disagree. And my whole video is basically me disagreeing with this guy and giving my reasons and evidence on why I think that John Lennon is actually a fantastic singer. So the fact that I'm saying something in the title and then disagreeing with myself in the video led a lot of people to believe that I was clickbaiting, that I was just doing something provocative to get people to click on the video. But the problem is that first of all, I put quotes on the title this wonderful thing right here look how pretty it is that should be enough for you to understand the nature of the video but if it isn't I clarify in the first minute or in the first two minutes the nature of the video my opinion on the comments and then the rest of the video is just me explaining why I feel that way okay so even if you were misled by the title the first minute should be enough for you to decide if you want to stay or if you want to leave and for anyone arguing oh it doesn't matter because what you want is for people to click on the video you don't care if they stay during the whole thing that's not true at all because it's actually really bad for your stats in YouTube if people leave and don't stay through the whole video because YouTube sees that as people not really enjoying the video therefore they don't stay to watch the ads and that's how they get money you know so it's not good for you for people to click on the video and then leave immediately it doesn't really matter if you have a bunch of views if people don't actually stay for the whole video it's pointless the reason why I'm saying this is because if you go to that John Lennon video and if you see the comments and that happens every time I do a video of that nature you're gonna see people saying Oh, what are you saying? John Lennon is one of the greatest singers of all time. You're just a kid who knows nothing about music. And that just blows my mind because first of all, one of those comments means you barely even watched a second of the video. You clicked on the video knowing full well that you were about to put hateful comments on it. And then the second case is weird because you don't really know how quotes work. Exactly what do you want me to do with the title of the video? Do you want me to do something along the lines of, I disagree with a comment made on social media, so I decided to make an 11 minute video stating why I disagree with a comment. P.S. I love John Lennon. Do you want me to do that in the title? No one's going to click on that video. And the fact that there's people in the comments defending me saying, hey, watch the video because he actually loves John Lennon too, I think it's really cute. However, I can sort of understand what people mean when they say the title is provocative. You know, ultimately, I just want people to give their opinions. I want people to click on the video so we can have a conversation. So yes, I add a little spice to the title. That's it. But saying it's clickbait is something completely different. But when it comes to the overrated videos, I cannot understand what people mean when they say I'm clickbaiting because if you're not familiar with the channel usually when I do an overrated video I take the name of the artist and I ask the question is he overrated so if we're talking about Elvis Presley the title is gonna be is Elvis Presley overrated and then the thumbnail is gonna be Elvis Presley and then the word overrated with a question mark right next to 
it. So there, I'm not stating anything. I'm not putting anything in quotes. I'm literally just asking a question. What do we do on the video? We take a look at their discography and based on my own analysis, we decide whether or not they're overrated. That's literally what I do on the video. So what am I gonna say in the title? Is the artist in question overrated? That's not even provocative. That's just what I'm doing. I did an overrated video on Elvis and I think it's the most viewed video on my channel. And the comment section for that video is both awesome and awful because some people are giving great anecdotes about Elvis that I wasn't aware of. They're giving me my opinion on his discography and his legacy. And actually we have people that were alive when Elvis was at peak popularity and they tell stories about newspapers at the time. It's amazing. It's honestly very, very, very interesting. But on the other hand, you have people that clearly barely watched even a second of the video and already go like, how dare you say that Elvis is overrated? He's one of the most impactful, influential, and amazing artists of all time. He's my favorite ever. You should kill yourself. And I'm like, Bro, watch the video. I fucking agree with you. Elvis is one of the greatest of all time. And that is the reason why I decided to put his legacy to the test with that video. And if you watched 30 uh, seconds, a minute of the video, you would have realized that we actually agree on a lot of things when it comes to Elvis because he's one of the greatest performers of all time. His discography has one of the greatest albums ever, like from Elvis in Memphis, his self-titled releases in 1956. And when it comes to his influence, I mean, he influenced the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, a bunch of artists that basically shaped the 60s which is the most influential decade in the history of music so definitely I don't think the guy is overrated and that is the conclusion I reached when I was doing that video instead you decided to just not watch the video and leave a hateful comment and people say oh well I was misled by your title how the fuck are you misled by a question? I don't understand. There's no excuse. Some people just want to hate. And I know that for a fact because when I reply to these comments, because I reply, I make sure they understand that I love Elvis too and they will probably agree on a lot of things if they watch the video. They reply back and it's like, I'm not going to watch your video. I'm not here to watch a video. Even if you do like Elvis, he doesn't need your approval. So this video isn't necessary. And I'm just like, you know, if your plan was not to watch a video today, why are you on YouTube? What did you click on my video? Exactly what was your plan of action? So you decided to just go on YouTube, find a title you didn't like, find a thumbnail you didn't like to click on that video and hate on that person. Like, is that really your way of entertaining yourself? And once again, it's not that I'm offended by these comments, but I am bothered because even though I, I know that 99% of them are just trying to hate people, you know, haters gonna hate, I guess. But the idea of that 1% actually feeling like I clickbaited them bothers me a little bit because I don't want that to happen. But at the same time, I don't understand what part of it felt like clickbait. You know, how on earth does my title and my thumbnail don't represent the content of the video? Because that that's what actual clickbaiting is. If I upload a video saying I found a mermaid in Houston, Texas, and then when you click the video, it's just me going and watching the Little Mermaid movie in Houston, Texas, that's actual clickbait because I'm saying I did something in the, in the title and then, you know, the content of the video is completely unrelated. That's not the case. Most of the times it's just me asking the question of whether or not someone is overrated in the title of the video and responding to my own question in the video. Both things are very related to each other or me putting a quote someone else said on the title and then talking about that quote in my video. So how is that clickbait? I don't understand. Ultimately, once again, it's not that it troubles me a lot. It's just a really funny situation and unfortunate for the people that do feel clickbaited. But in the future, you know, when you see quotes in the title of my videos, it just means that I'm talking about something I read online. Most of the times that's what it is, you know? And if I ask, is someone overrated? It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm saying that person is overrated. I'm saying this is a really popular artist with some really good music out there. So let's take a look at their discography and let's look at what people think of the artist to see if it matches, you know, to see if the quality matches the price. That's it, that's what those videos are for. I know this is very unusual. I'm not talking about any music here, so I'm not even sure if people are gonna watch this video, but I want to know your opinion, so please leave it down below. Do you think I'm clickbaiting? Do you really think my titles are too provocative? If you enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any other videos that I upload. If you want me to talk about any other topics related to music, if you want me to check out a song, album, or artist, leave it down below as well. And I'll make sure to read it and fulfill your request as soon as I can. I hope I can see you guys soon with a new video, but until then, bye.